now from the Hill, and you lead that committee today. Sir, good morning to you. Good morning. What do you expect to get from this that we did not hear yesterday? Well, a couple things. One is the administration has had their chance to make their case in classified and unclassified sessions. What we're doing is we're bringing in some outside experts to look not only at this deal in a narrow sense, but what it means in a larger sense. Because one thing everybody agrees on, whether you're for it or against it, is this is a big deal. This has far-reaching consequences for us, for the Middle East, and for the world. And the Department of Defense, our military, is going to have to deal with those consequences whatever happens to the deal yeah. and so those are some of the things that we're we're going to push i haven't heard a republican say they're on board yet some democrats now are starting to surface um including sander levin a democrat from michigan has been strong in support of israel for some time here is elliot angle a congressman from new york democrat as well he's skeptical listen after the iranians signed the deal with us there was the supreme leader of the Ayatollah chanting death to America, death to Israel. You would think that after agreement was signed with us, there might be a modicum of goodwill that perhaps they'd keep quiet for a week or two or a month, but it went back to business as usual. How can we trust Iran when this type of thing happens? Those are tough questions to answer. Do you have your answers? Yeah, I think it's, it's a huge question. Uh, and, and let me just give you another aspect of this. What we have uh, learned recently is that when we, when the Obama administration thought they got all the chemical weapons out of Syria, it turns out they didn't. And that Syria continues to work on chemical weapons, use them, etc. And the key is they thwarted the inspectors. So the key question for Iran is what are you going to do different to make sure Iran does not do the same things that happened in Syria to thwart the inspectors? And, an and another part of this is do you think the Obama administration is really going to be tough enough to hold their feet to the fire? They were not in Syria. They have not been with the Russian violations of the INF Treaty. What makes you think they're going to do it uh, for, for this treaty? So, so that's a little deeper level that I think we, we need to get to. Secretary Kerry said a lot of things yesterday. If we walk away, we walk away alone. Our partners are not going to be with us. That as it relates to sanctions. So, I mean, it, it seems like that boat has already sailed down the river. He says we will know if they're cheating. We'll be able to respond accordingly. Will we? Uh, I think that's the point. Uh, I have my doubts, and the track record from Syria, where our intelligence community and everybody thought we got all the weapons, and now just a year or so later, it turns out no, we didn't get all the weapons. See, I think that Secretary Kerry's assurances need to be taken in light of recent historical examples where the the inspectors did were not able to to do their job. Yeah, and, 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 and again, what's going to be different? Yeah, he's making the case that there's no sunset on this deal. It doesn't run out in 10 years or 15 years or beyond. We have a debate here one week from tomorrow, and we've been asking viewers for questions on Facebook. Logan writes this from St. Louis. This question is for any candidate. How will you disarm Iran and keep the Middle East denuclearized? You won't be on the stage, but if you were, what would you say? How do you answer that? Um, there is no absolute guarantee, but what I would do is keep the pressure on through sanctions. Uh, even if other countries alleviate their sanctions, having the U.S. keep that pressure on is hugely important because we continue to be the financial leader in the world. What's needed in Iran is regime change. We've got to make them see that there is a price not only to their nuclear program, but their missile program and their terrorism support and all the other activities they're doing. This deal doesn't touch those other things, and only by keeping that broader pressure on them can we get that point across. The rest of the story is we've got to be better friends. So the other countries in the region, including Israel, who depend on us, have got to know that we're reliable, and Iran has got to know that we're reliable friends. Uh, yeah. That's different from what this administration has done. It's a pretty interesting answer. Mac Thornberry, thank you. Good luck with your hearing today. We'll be watching from New York.